why do we treat a broken arm dramatically different than a broken mind? I'm Jonathan. I'm here to flip the script on everything you thought you knew about construction. You know, equality is not a public relations thing when it's convenient for you, when it's convenient for the organization, when it's convenient to check the boxes, to say, rah, 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 we did our due diligence, we're here for people, we're here for people. And in your heart, you know, it's bullshit. What does that really mean? There is one thing to beat on the drum, beat on your chest and say, look at us, look at how great we are. We're such a wonderfully run organization, site, business, school, institution, you name it. It doesn't really make a difference. You see, the framework really doesn't matter. It's how do you actually wholeheartedly share that with the people in your orbit, the people doing the work. Do they actually know that? Does it actually make a difference? Do they actually care? Equality is such a fluffy, loose word to so many individuals. And I challenge you to say, what is equality to you? Why are you doing it? And does it even matter? It's one thing to say, we have zero lost time injuries and it's been a billion hours since we've had a lost time injury. And beneath all that, it's all smoke and mirrors because it's buried, because the guy that cut his finger gets swept under the rug, because the guy who hurt himself, because the guy who jumped to his death gets swept under the rug. And if you think that doesn't happen, you're living in a mysterious bubble. The shit is still under the rug. It doesn't go away. Equality is different for everybody. Equality is not just about inviting a diverse group of people to come in. Equality is mean I've got your back. And when shit goes sideways, I will do everything humanly possible to know so that you know that I'm there for you. Equality is not about sitting in a boardroom saying, we got to get the rebates, I'll do everything humanly possible to check the boxes, send it off to get the rebates. Wow. Wow. Why do we treat a broken arm dramatically different than a broken mind? What does that mean? Somebody breaks their arm, what do we say? Hey, take your six weeks, heal, when you come back, do your rehab, we're going to go through light duties. Yet, Something happens on a site, somebody jumps to their death, what happens? We shut the site down for a day, we do the, 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 the ministry comes in, does their checks and balances. Nobody ever checks in, and the site opens up the next day, nobody ever checks in with the people who are on the site to say, hey man, are you okay? Why are we not respecting the human brain the same way we, we respect the human body? Why, are we, why is it acceptable the language we use on sites where if we walked into the bank and used the same language, we'd be arrested or any other institution. You name it, you pick it. Why, when it's convenient, do we leverage the harassment bills to say, you can't speak to me that way, yet you walk on a site and some of the language that we hear is absolutely embarrassing. And we communicate that on sites and we go home and say to our children, hey, it's not okay to speak like that. Mixed messaging, folks. It doesn't work. You don't pretend to be something over here and show up differently. It's all together. And when we make decisions on the cultures we want to create, the, the people we want to incubate, the people we want to grow, everything else changes. Ask yourself, why are people part of the organization? Why do people want to be with you? It's not because you pay them well. It's not because you give them everything they need. Those are hygiene factors. Those are must-haves. If we're not going to take care of those, let's not even have this conversation. It's about the cultures, the atmospheres that we, that you matter, we care about you. We actually give a damn that makes a difference. It's when things go bad, as they always do, we're there for each other. It's not a status meeting when shit's going bad and only the people who are, you know, the executive teams who are making the decisions are there and coming up with these ridiculous, crazy ideas without actually giving a damn and checking in with the people doing the work. Nobody, where is it with, to have the courage to say, that's not the issue? Because there's always something else going on. 
And when we fail to respect the people doing the work, and we fail to respect those people in front of us, and we fail to check in to say, you don't look so good. I'm concerned about you. Like when somebody actually says to me, hey, I noticed you on site today, and I haven't seen you that way for a long time. Are you okay? And th to say that doesn't happen, there are some wonderful human beings out there. And I'll remember this, you're going to a site, and he showed up, and this gentleman who we got to know, he called me when I left and said, you didn't look okay today. Is everything all right? No, shit wasn't okay. And he recognized that. And I will never forget that moment. And you know what that does? That makes me feel appreciated, makes me feel part of a team, and it makes me want to care about the other people around me. And I know that when stuff's going to go sideways, people are there for us. The mind matters as much as the body. To separate the two, why do we go to the gym? We go to the gym to get stronger. If we never have the tough conversations, if we never exercise our brains, how do you expect the brain to get better? The mind's a muscle. It must be exercised. You don't go to the gym and say, hey, I'm going to squat 400 pounds today. I never squat 400 pounds. You've got to start somewhere. Start having the real conversations. Check in. People matter. People matter now more than ever. Ask the questions. Be there for people. Because people matter.